How's it going everyone? Nathan here of Riders Cove. So, today I'm going to be talking about basically detail business right here. So, if you're looking to start up a detail company or a detail business, whatever, uh, you want to do it, something you want to do it on the side, you know, something you want to do on the weekends, or, you know, if you're just a young kid in high school, you want to do something, you know, while you're doing school, just for extra cash, whatever, you know, it doesn't matter. Basically, I'm going to be talking about clients and customers today. Now, there's a bunch of clients out there. Some of them are really cool and everything. They completely understand. And if you can't make the car 100% perfect, whatever, they completely understand it. Then there's the others that will look at every single little detail, you know. And they'll be like, can't, like, why is this scratch right here? Why can't you take it off? Well, because you freaking went through right through down to the base coat. Or even further, you went down to the material of the actual freaking panel. You know, you get you get a bunch of those people. It's, and from my experience... And main experience from a couple other guys that I've talked to as well. Usually the higher end guys, usually they're more chill about it. They really under, they, they understand it, you know. Then the people that mostly complain about it are people with lower end economy cars and you know they're kind of on a budget and all that stuff and they're just or maybe they're just very cheap and they just want you know they really want to you know get every single penny's worth you know even though you're already giving them that they still want more. Or, you know, you want, they want a polish, you know, like let's say they bring in a full size sedan, they want it polished, you know, even though it's completely like, like scratched to hell. It's like, it looks like it's been faded for like 30 years, but you know, it just needs a really good, you know, like maybe light sanding, you know, like 2000 grit, then with a, with a compound and finishing polish, you know, a nice wax, sealant, whatever you want to put on top of it. You know, they want to take care of the interior, and the interior looks like a piece of shit. You know, I've dealt some customers, man. They look like they freaking just tossed their whole garbage can into their freaking car. It pisses me off. But, yeah, you get guys, you get people like that, you know, guys, chicks, whatever. Usually, the chick cars are the worst. Just because they toss everything into the car. There's makeup, there's food, uh, feminine hygiene products, whatever, you know, clothes. Um, you know, if it's a family car, depending on the on the family itself, it could either be like, you know, just normal stuff, or it could be like the worst thing possible. I dealt with a customer. He literally had about a bucket worth of sand. Like, you know, those little buckets you get like a water or whatever. They're probably like, by, you know, about this big, whatever. You know, about the size of my head. You know, like a pail. There's a normal little pail bucket for like, you get for like two, three bucks. There's about there was that much sand worth in this guy's car and I was pissed I was like you know I wasn't pissed that you know I was doing it you know but I was pissed that how could someone allow their car to get this damn dirty like what makes you think that this is okay it's like yes I if it's a work truck you have the sand in the back whatever you know doesn't matter but or if you use it for you know work you know if you have an SUV you use it for work and you get like Maybe drywall dust, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's fine. But a bucket worth of it in a family car? Are you kidding me? It's like, it's ridiculous, you know? And then you get a bunch of other people like, all right, so about a week a week ago, <clears throat> yeah, it was a week, yeah, it was this past weekend, a, a woman called me, well, she messaged me. I used a couple apps, you know, to spread, you know, my business, whatever. And... She starts asking me how much she would charge. And just to let you know, I live in San Diego, Tijuana, Mexico, you know, Tijuana, Baja, California, whatever. It's right there. Literally, that direction, right there. It's literally, I, if I walk outside of my home right now, I can see Tijuana right there. You know, I can see the border and all the little houses right there. I can see Tijuana right there. And there's a bunch of detailers down there that are shitty, all right? But they offer a bargain price because, you know, they're shitty. And those exist here in in the states as well but a bunch of them exist down there and a lot of people go down there for whatever reason you know but yeah she starts talking to me right she'll ask me you know ask me for a quote how much it would be for her car now she doesn't tell me the exact make of her car she just says oh it's this type of car and which i believe it was a <clears throat> it was like a crossover vehicle that she, the way she mentioned it you know her english was about 80 percent you know 75 percent she wasn't born here she wasn't raised here she lived here for quite some time so you know her english was you know it was adequate you know so you know but i can speak spanish too you know because mexican family whatever but yeah 
she started asking me all these questions and all this and like I started telling her well if you want all this right here it's gonna be this price you know and like and I quoted her a hundred bucks you know because she wanted a full detail everything you know she wanted the interior deep cleaning and when she when someone says they want a deep cleaning on the interior you know it's gonna be completely like out of this world garbage like you better have a steamer you better have a biohazard to you because it will smell like piss in there like literally i've dealt with core where it smells like piss in there it smells like ass and i'm just like mm. you know or it's like it's like the freaking like um vinyl latex gloves or the nitro gloves whatever that's not gonna be enough this is not gonna be enough you're gonna need a freaking biohazard suit like it, some cars get that bad and whenever someone says deep cleaning i automatically know that oh shit it's gonna be horrible i just know it you know, once you've been in it for a while, you start here, everything just starts lining up. You know what to expect because everyone has been using those things, you know, like deep cleaning and everything. But yeah, this lady, then she literally says, I'm a lady. I was like, well, you know, me as her, she's like, yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, like, what does that have to do with anything? You know, then, then she says she wants to, and like, I already told her it would be a hundred bucks for that. Then she was like, she was, she been go, she's been going around. She told me that she was going around and getting quotes on these detailers over here. And then she said, if she can't get a good deal, she should that she would go to Tijuana. And I was like, go to Tijuana then. You know, if you don't like our our prices, you don't go to Tijuana. Then she was like, then she literally replied, thank you. Uh, what was it? Thank you. I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm trying to exactly quote her. Uh, budget I'll just papers like thank you um I was rude to uh to her as a customer no no as a client yeah she, she said I was and I replied to her and I replied and I told her that she was not a client because I haven't accepted her as a client she was nowhere near being a client you know until we actually agreed and everything and all that stuff and it's just like the entitlement you know the those stupid little threats you know whenever someone you know, like we get all those people like we'll go like they'll say oh you know if you can't give me a good deal I'll just go to this guy I'll be like you know what go to them go to them I don't care I don't care what their prices are my price is my price this is how much I value my work now if you want to go to them you know fine go for it you know I'll just tell you fine go to them I don't care I'm not gonna try to fight for your work for your uh, you know to do the, your car you know you're not doing me a favor I'm doing you a favor you know I'm the one that's gonna be doing the work for you because you're too lazy to do it yourself and that's you don't get customers like that all the time you know doesn't matter if you're gonna be polishing their car or whatever some people think that you could polish anything I've gotten customers you know potential customers or potential clients that say they oh you know it just, it just needs a slight buff you know on the car there's no freaking clear coat left the base paint's already starting to peel off you know the freaking material of the car you know fiberglass polyurethane whatever it is the the sheet metal whatever you start seeing that you start seeing that material and i'm just like what makes you think i could polish this off there's nothing left you know you need to repaint this thing you know they have like then they're like you know i know some detailers will do little touch-up spots you know like maybe like on a fender or something you start seeing uh clear coat coming off of the base paint you know they will sand it they'll feather it out whatever and they'll repaint that little section you know, but many of them won't, you know, like just because it'll just take a while and a lot of people will not want to pay the price for that. You know, and, I, and whenever that I see that happen, I just tell people, go to a paint shop, don't take care of it, you know, for whatever price they'll say, you know. And it's just, it's just freaking ridiculous how certain people are. They're like, they think, they think you could do miracles and sometimes you can, you know, you'll like, you know, you get like a barnyard car or whatever, it looks really horrible, but then once you get done with it and everything, it looks really nice you know like every now and then i get one of those cars and it just looks phenomenal you know but certain certain clients and customers are just complete dicks and one thing is that they'll, they'll, they'll sometimes they'll do this trick right here right they'll do this method right here they'll say oh you know i have a couple cars you know i was like i wonder if you give me a deal you know like i just need one car right now you know and if you give me a good deal on it i can let you do my other cars and i'm like no, nah, you're not gonna come back. I know for a fact you're not gonna come back because everyone's been using that trick since forever. So I always tell them, well, no, I can't give you a deal on the first car, but on your second car, I could give you a deal. 
right? So, you know, like, it, depending on what they want, you know, like this past, it was actually this week, right? Yeah, a couple days ago. Yeah, a guy called me, well, messaged me. No one calls anymore. It's like, it's weird. Everyone just messages you. But yeah. So this guy messages me saying, saying the exact same stuff, you know. Then, you know, I told him, well, it'll be uh, 175 to, you know, it's for a scratch or swerve removal. It's not a full paint correction. Because a full paint correction, you take, away, uh, take care of the heavy stuff, all right? But, you know, you know scratch and swirl is, is moderate, you know. Light to moderate swirls and scratches, you know, like something you would expect on a daily car. You know, not something that's going to be completely horrible. It could be ruined, orange peel, no, none of that stuff. You know, just the general stuff, you know. Then, you know, then I told him the price because he wanted two cars done. So I told him 175 for the first car to do all that stuff, you know, the scratch and swirl removal. Uh, put a sealant on it, all that's you know, you know the works on no, just exterior only. You know, some people charge more, some people charge less, some people include the interior, depending on it. You know, just whatever. You know, just that's how it is. Now for his second car, he he didn't want it polished or anything. He just wanted a full detail. You know, wash, clay, wax. You know, take care of the wheels and all that stuff. Not the engine bay. That's extra that's a completely whole different thing and he wanted the interior done you know, you know carpet shampoo you know maybe seat shampoo you know the vacuuming all the panels there anything headliner all you know just the works you know and i told him you know i usually charge around 75 to 85 bucks for that starting depending on the size of the vehicle and how soiled it is you know how dirty it is whatever but i told him you know what i do it for 65 you know that's about you know 10 to 20 bucks you know down you know discount whatever and it ended up being like a total around like 240, I believe it was. And he and he literally said that I don't think my I don't, for 240, I don't think my wife is gonna be on board. I was like, I was like, okay, you know, that's my price right there. If you don't like it, uh, you can go somewhere else. You know, like I don't care what your wife has to think. I don't care what you think. That's my price. If you don't like it, fine. You know, go somewhere else. You know, I was like. That happens all the time. That's something you have to deal with. You will get pissed off. I guarantee you, you will get pissed off. Just like I do. I get pissed off all the time about these guys. You know, I'm just like, I, but I'm learning to just laugh. I'm just like, <laughs> keep walking. No, you will. You have to set a value for yourself. Don't let anyone try to lowball you. Don't let, don't try to let anyone threaten you by saying they'll go somewhere else just because you know they do it for less. I'm like, no. You know, if you know your products, you know them very well. If you have the skills, you've been doing it for a while, then you know how much your time is worth. You know how much your work is worth, because you can know that you can know the other person, right? And you know the garbage are shit. You know, maybe they'll have a wax that lasts about like three weeks on it, compared to your wax that lasts for five to six months. You know, you may charge you know fifty bucks for the application, while the other person only charges five to ten bucks. You know, and like people are gonna be like, oh well, they only charge you. I'm like, well, they're using garbage products. No one with quality products is gonna be charging a, you know a low price, unless you know they get a great deal on their products, whatever, blah blah blah, and, you know, whatever. But even then, it's still like, you know, they charge a certain amount, and it's just freaking phenomenal, you know. You really start to understand people. You really you become you literally become like a psychologist. You, you study people. You're able to pick up their cues, you know, on their voice and everything, and all that stuff. When it comes down to this, you can basically understand how their car is just by the way they talk to you. And really, you're going to pick this up very quickly if you want if you're going to be doing this. All right, so it's just phenomenal and. Yeah, so I think I'll just end it there because that's enough ranting for me. But yeah, if you want to hear some more crazy stories, whatever, or just detail hanging out, just a bunch of people about me, or just me bitching about customers and clients, you know, like this video, share it, whatever, comment down below. If you have any questions to comment, comment them down below, you know, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all that stuff down there. And yeah, man, I feel really good after this. <laughs> that's how pissed off I am at customers and clients that treat us like shit. You know, because we're people too, and we do offer quality to work. You know, if you if you just understand detailing on a basic principle, you able to get you will be able to get pro like results. You know, the pros they'll know some extra you know tricks and tips and all that stuff. But for the most part, in amateur, you can do about eighty percent of the stuff yourself. But yeah, leave your questions or comments down below, and I'll do my best to answer. And yeah. Get ready for more detailing shit, you know? Alright, later guys.